Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our wrestling simulator. As you can see, I think this is like, I want to say our 15th or 16th noob account that we have created just for the sake of these insane challenges. And oh, today's challenge is most definitely insane. Not because of the difficulty, well, it will be pretty difficult, but mainly because of the insane pet we're going to be using on this account to hopefully reach the new world nine in the game. It's going to be a long process. Lots of battles are going to have to be done. Lots of pets obtained. And I think we should go ahead and get started with this process. Now on this account, we obviously don't have the pet yet. And that is because it is on my main account right here, which is in the exact same server. So we go ahead and initiate a trade. And this pet is absolutely insane. I'm not going to show it just yet, but that is a pet. You might see an insane number. And it might be double checking, thinking, thinking, what? There's no way that's real. But oh, trust me, it is very much so real. As we're going to be using a 6.2 billion multiplier bunny dominus pet. This pet if you don't know, is available in the limited stock pets, and it costs 12,999 Robux for just one of these pets. And if you didn't catch that, this is a golden version because it is also void. And so I literally don't know how expensive this pet is. I'm thinking it's at least 150,000 Robux. And luckily, someone in the community was nice enough to lend me this pet. Huge shout out to them for making this video possible. But we are also going to make this challenge just a little bit easier by trading over some best friend eight pets from our main account to a assist in making this bunny dominus super op all right there we go the main account can say goodbye as we won't be needing him anymore and with these six pets we can go and equip the best and we only have three pet equips at the moment but we can get some more later on but this with these three pets is roughly a 26 billion total stat team which is that's just absolutely absurd you can see the the ghost bunny dominus behind me it's huge it looks funny but we have nine worlds to get through so let's go ahead and start training some strength i mean that was okay that was a little little too easy <laughs> we're already at 640 billion strength within two milliseconds of being in the starter gym now one thing i kind of forgot to do last time is use some of these 3x codes really early on because these 3x codes actually give you a triple wins boost and so i believe there's also the ability to get some potions that i've kind of forgotten how to do but i'm sure we'll figure out later on i mean a 3x wins boost right off the bat is still pretty solid and will help us get out of the starter gym we went a little overboard but 18 0.7k wins in the bag moving on to the garden but just kidding we don't actually want to go to the garden we want to go to the space gym and let's see if we auto train in here we're getting 67 trillion per curl oh my gosh that is absolutely diabolical the rogue ai has 36 billion strength now uh, it's all fun and games we're, we're having a laugh right now we're having a good time but soon there will come a point where even these pets it'll still take hours of grinding to get enough strength to beat these bosses and so i just want to kind of bask in this fun time for now where we're, we're just getting so much strength it's absolutely ridiculous on a brand new account of course no robux spent no game passes none of that it is literally just me these pets and the game that is all we have now i think knuckle is usually the best way to get strength yeah oh my gosh bro, we already have two can we already have enough again five seconds into this world and we can already be the final kraken boss pretty easily i might add as well but this is where things will probably start to suck because we're only getting 50 billion wins which means we need to beat this boss i believe a total of 100 times in order to move on to world War, which is just not fun but we can make this process a little bit easier a little bit faster by using some of our wins to rebirth within the game and rebirthing what it does is two things it makes it so you gain strength a whole lot faster but also it gives you the ability to go ah oh, dude okay listen for now i won't have the game pass but considering this challenge literally takes multiple days in real life I might just, I might just, it's 39 Robux. And it just speeds up me running back and forth. But we really quickly need to open some of these eggs, which we just breeze by, which is kind of hilarious. Usually if you're playing the game, you would probably have to open some of these eggs, see what pets you can get. But for me, we already literally have the best pet possible in the entire game. So we have some random pets. And as you can see with our rebirths that we got, we got these rebirth tokens, which we can use to enchant these different pets. And we really only want, to be honest, like winner, winner, four and above and so these winner winner twos are not looking good lucky ones not good lucky three that is the wrong thing though and we're out of rebirth so we need to go spend some more in order to get back to enchanting Ooh, winner winner three i'll take that for now it's not necessarily what i want in the long term but having a 60 percent boost will definitely be really helpful and i'm oh wait does the easter event going on right now have double wins i think it actually has a double wins potion in the shop 
shop. I might be wrong. No, okay, so this refreshes, but I am almost certain. Is it in this merchant? Oh no, because this will take a good chunk of time to actually progress through this event because we can either break these breakables, which gives us some, some coins, or we can get some strength over here, which unfortunately our pets won't really help with that. Wait, oh my gosh, this works This works in here too. So if you auto train, right now there's a glitch where it just puts you to the best possible punching bag, which is pretty helpful because it also lets us get past all these other worlds and we can see, yes, wins potions. For 30 minutes, we can double our wins. So we're just gonna do that. We're just gonna actually sit here and get enough strength. Oh, to beat the pink marauder, that might actually take quite a long time. We'll, we'll auto train for a little bit. I mean, we don't necessarily need to beat the pink marauder. But it would definitely be... Oh, that's going to take so long. Okay, because this is going to just take ages, I think we're just going to chill here. And oh, wait, these actually... Wait, I can't punch these. So I basically have access to the shop, but I... Wait, how do I... I can't leave. Wait, I can't leave. I have to back out of the game. Usually you just teleport back, but I don't have the teleport game pass. So I have to leave the game and then join back just to get back to the Easter world. So I think we're going to get a thousand coins and then go... Oh, no, we need 3,000 coins because then we'd be able to buy three double wins potions. Potions. Okay, so yeah, I think we're gonna go do that. Get enough coins to buy three potions. And I might just pretty much auto fight this boss. Because 90 coins isn't bad, and that was pretty fast. Alrighty, let's see. Does our little trick work? Skip to the last zone and please, 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 can we purchase this? Yes. So we should have basically an hour and a half of wins potions, which is good. And so using that potion with our 3x potion, it should be, I think, that's 6x. And then I was trying to think we have a winner winner 3, which is 20%. So that's like 7.2x, I think. The math might not be mathing. Let's go see. We were getting... Oh, we have like no strength. We just... Yeah, we have no strength. <laughs> Well, we were getting 50 billion per win last time. Oh, I didn't put on the double wins potion, but now we're getting 63 billion and then we should just be doubling that. So we were getting 50 billion. Now we're getting 126 billion, which is definitely a big, big improvement. And now with this potion equipped, we can start doing the thing I dread most in all of these noob to pro challenges. And that is super rebirthing. Whenever you rebirth enough in arm wrestling simulator, they give you the option to super rebirth, which as you can see right now, we have the option to super rebirth. And what it does is it resets all of your progress in the game back to zero, meaning we don't have any of the worlds unlocked. We don't have any of the strength we just have. We don't have any of the wins we have, but what we do have is two things. One, a permanent 100% strength boost, and then also we have one rebirth token, which these can be used for a variety of different things like pet equips, walk speed, pet storage, enchant luck. But for me, I am going to be using this on enchant luck because I really want to get a full winner winner four, winner winner five team as soon as possible because this is going to be like the crux of our challenge. It's not strength. Typically for these challenges, strength isn't what we have a hard time getting. It is all of the wins. Okay, listen guys, I'm going to come clean. I, just, I have I have to get the game pass. This is the only one we're going to be getting and it doesn't provide any sort of wins or strength boost it just helps me teleport around the game faster because again this is literally going to take multiple real life days and i'm probably going to save like hours of my life just with that game pass right there but i'm, I'm once again being honest it's the only game pass no vip nothing that's going to give me any other, any other boost in the game and now all that's left to do is to sit here get as much strength as humanly possible and then turn around and super rebirth over and over and over and so since this is a pretty boring process i'll see you guys in a second a few moments later. All right, we've been grinding away for quite some time now, and we just hit 15 super rebirths, so we should have the ability to get plus one pet equip. There we go. Only 15 more. That's actually not a bad deal. Uh, so now we have four pet equips, which again, you might be saying three to four. What's the big deal? Well, with our strength team, that basically makes it a total of, I think it's an extra 10 billion stats we just added. So we're up to 40 billion with that. Looking good, looking good. And then for our winner winner team, we'll also be able to get another winner winner pet which would be super helpful because for this as you can see we need 15,000 uh, wins to move on to the next gym and we're almost getting enough we're getting like 7.1 thousand see we're so close to 14,000 so this will help us speed up our process in the first gym to so then go to the second gym and then when we're done auto fighting here we just teleport to the space gym and then when we're in the space gym we auto fight the rogue ai we only have to beat the rogue ai once and that is because of all of the boosts have going on with the 3x app boost the 2x the winner winner team we go to the beach and then when we go to the beach we just sit here and we auto train 
biceps and then put on our strength team and we get a pretty absurd amount of strength really 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 quickly and then we just equip our winner winner team go back and this is basically what i've been doing for the last like half hour 45 minutes we also did manage to get another uh upgrade and that was maxing out the enchant luck so now whenever we do go to enchant our pets to get those winner winner enchants uh to get more wins we should be able to find the rarer enchants a little bit more easy which, which will be really helpful so we're gonna try to get another winner winner enchant here in just a second i should have done it right there honestly uh but i kind of goofed up so that's basically all i've been doing for the last 30 minutes and i'm gonna have to keep doing it for another probably hour or so because we need we literally need this second pet equip uh and it's better just to get all the super rebirths out of the way at the beginning of these challenges because later on i'm definitely gonna have a ton of strength that i don't want to lose to super rebirthing and so it's a pain it's not fun but it's kind of what you got to do in order to set yourself up for success later on in the game and we have just secured another winner winner for pet and so just to show you how powerful this is if we go ahead and get a little bit more strength we'll just show you the uh we're currently getting around 21 million wins i think every time you beat the rogue ai uh 21.3 million so let's go ahead and equip that other winner winner pet the arctic fox we equip it we auto fight him and we should be getting probably around 25 4 25 million yeah 24 million so right there that's an extra like 20 percent increase for doing nothing it's just they're giving you free wins you got to take advantage of it and so that should help us out greatly in our quest to reaching max super rebirths also i just realized we've kind of neglected the fact that there's arms in this game we have seven gold keys and that's from just beating a bunch of bosses so we can quickly purchase some golden crates and then open up all these to see what we're gonna get and we get a whoa a 470 percent arm that's actually pretty insane and then there's a chance if we go to the spaceship we can see if we can turn this into a golden arm we'll only have about a 60 percent chance oh and we're on the top of the gym that's a little bit weird there we go so we can run over here and see can we turn this 350 percent arm into a golden arm again we have a 60 percent chance Ooh, it's a success but is it better 525 percent so kind of forgot that those were in the game for just a second and so that'll make our strength training journey a whole lot easier and we've reached 15 more super rebirths which is a pretty good time because now we can upgrade our pet equip again so we have two free pet equips fully unlocked and that means our strength team we can remake that again and then same for our winner winner we can get another winner winner four hopefully winner winner five i don't think we'd have enough rebirths for winner winner five but we can get another pet in our arsenal helping us once again get wins just a tad bit faster but sadly we are out of double wins potion so we need to head back to the easter event and get working on getting our three thousand coins again this is probably gonna be a pretty tedious process throughout the whole challenge having to go back every hour and a half to get more potions but it only takes a few minutes and it helps us out tremendously all right i made the executive decision to end up getting 7500 candy coins because personally that was just that was taking so long as you can see we burnt almost like oh close to an hour of that uh, 3x stat boost which is unfortunate but now we can get enough strength to beat the candy bunny and this person gives a guarantee i think 75 coins every time you beat it so in the long run i think it's going to help us out but in the short term that definitely sucks having to have wasted so much time just unlocking this one area i definitely don't think we're going to unlock the sour forest because i really just wanted access to uh that boss fight that gives 7500 or 75 candy every time you beat it because the other boss was taking ages and we were getting like 10 or 15 candy on some of those uh defeats now with our upgrades completed in terms of super rebirths now that's now all that's left is for us to actually max out the super rebirths and it's a pretty tough process this is because in order to super rebirth from here on out we're going to have to actually get to world four in order to do that and so far i've just been in through uh, world three farming up these wins so it used to take us about a hundred wins to get to world four but now i believe it's only going to take us about 20 wins which isn't bad but it's still it's nothing amazing we're still spending a lot of time here and so once we have all of the wins needed we can go to the bunker which is world four which is we're not even halfway there because now there's nine worlds in the game but we can train up some easy strength i mean it takes just a second and we're already able to beat the final boss and then this world i think we'd have to beat the final boss around 15-ish times in order to move on so not bad but it is better than world four but the good thing is we now have a ton of wins 7.2 qi which is also enough in order to buy some trails and whatnot but honestly we're not even struggling with strength at the moment like two point oh no we, we just rebirth i was like wait what two point billion strength isn't the issue it's wins and so now each rebirth super rebirth is gonna take i think in the ballpark of like three to four minutes to to get enough wins to super rebirth and so this will probably happen 
happen for the next like 20 or 30 Reavers is having to go to world four, which doesn't sound fun. And it's definitely not fun, but it's just what we have to do. We have to do it early on and we got to suck it up. Just a little bit of a progress update. We've been working pretty hard on the super rebirth. We're currently at super rebirth 34, but something else we have been working on is getting another pet equip for completely free as obviously this is a no Robux challenge other than that teleport game pass. And the other way to do this is by this pet index machine over here in the starter gym. As you can see, we only need to find five more pets for a plus one pet equip. So we've gone ahead through the school and uh, tried to find as many pets as we can. These ones we haven't found are just pretty rare and we might work on finding those later. Same thing with the space gym and the beach. We have found pretty much as many pets as possible. And now that we have access to the bunker, we can go ahead and open a few eggs here just to pretty much guarantee that extra pet equip. And I think once we unlock world eight, we should also pretty much be able to get a second pet equip because it's every 50 pets, uh, you're able to get an additional pet equip. So there's two, I believe. And then we can go over here and open one. Uh, oh, that's actually pretty lucky. 10% chance. We do also have a luck team that we have made. So hopefully that might help us find some of these rare pets because those are the ones that we had struggled with. But as you can see, you just got plus one pet equip. I will take that all day, every day, which means we can now delete. Or I guess maybe not delete our strength team, but go ahead and add one more glowing red. Replace it with current pets. Same thing with our winner winner team. Oh, we don't even have an extra winner winner pet, do we? Reindeer? I don't think so. So we, that means we can go ahead and get another winner winner pet. And so let's go ahead, snag some rebirths, and uh, we will do that in just a second. And so making good progress, but honestly, it's a little bit slower than I would have anticipated. Oh, we can go check back for the Easter event. I've been trying to get some double wins potions and have been struggling to find them in the shop. There we go. Oh no, dude. Small luck potion. Let's get over here to this area. Please, man. Please give me a win potion. Holy crap. This is like three cycles and we haven't got a single wind potion. We have 6,000 coins up to buy three hours worth, but I just I can't find anything. And if I check the store, we have zero. We're, we're down bad. But we're on to super rebirth number 35 with our extra pet equip. We can go ahead and, uh, oh, I should have done that. I think it's been a total of, I want to say around, it feels like five or six hours just super rebirthing, but I think we're probably an hour, like three or four of super rebirthing. And I, I honestly thought this was going to be an end of it. I thought as soon as we walked through this portal to the fifth world and we put on our strength team, put back on our wins team and got enough wins to super rebirth that this would be the end of it. But then I remembered the developers added more super rebirths. I think it was like two, no, maybe like three or four weeks ago, the developers ended up they added even more super Super Reapers, so previously it maxed out at 60. <laughs> But as you'll see in a second, we can keep on super rebirthing. However, I think the max percentage increase only goes up very slightly. And so for me, I've already spent so many hours grinding this from 59 or all the way from zero to 20. Uh, and then I think in total, these cost around 10 super rebirths. This costs 30 super rebirths. So after all this and done, we will be basically on super rebirth 100. And I will have still pretty much not even started the game. I've only made it to world five. I haven't made it to, to anywhere past that we've been just basically grinding the crap out of it but now i really want to see how far can we get in this game because ultimately that that's what we have to do we have to get all the way to world nine that is the challenge and uh so far we've only made it to world five and we're about six or seven hours so far into this challenge and it doesn't feel like we've made any progress we've obviously obviously made a lot of progress because we're no longer stuck uh you know, super rebirthing we have a whopping base boost of 3300 percent however that's without any additional rebirth so we'll be around a five thousand percent strength increase which will be really cool then we can start grinding some arms. Then we can start grinding some trails and some other aspects of the game that I really just haven't been able to take advantage of. Uh, and so it, it's been a crazy long grind, uh, but I'm glad we did it because obviously it'll set us up for the future. And I don't think we'll need to super rebirth anymore. I really hope I'm wrong, but I hope these 60 super rebirths will be enough to get us to, all the way to world uh, nine. But again, now it's just the grind to continue beating these earlier bosses, moving on to the next worlds. And so I'm gonna keep you guys updated with all of our progress moving uh, from world one to world nine. And now that we have that big grind out of the way. All right, you've seen me get to world five just a second ago, but this is the dino world. And luckily, now that we're doing this challenge uh, quite long into the game's existence, it's actually pretty easy for me to move on to the next world. We can go ahead and auto fight the mammoth boss, which you only need 850 QA strength to beat. And we have 19.1 QI strength. But additionally, oh shoot, our double strength potion ran out. I do have to say, I have to be on top of that because that is a huge, huge time saver. And we only have, I think, one more mini after this, but we only need 100 SX wins to move on previously you needed 
basically the equivalent of a thousand SX wins, and then they nerfed it to 500 SX wins, and now it's a hundred. So you only have to beat the mammoth around 33 times. Previously on other challenges, I've had to beat the mammoth 330 times. So this is a huge, huge, huge time saver. And I'm really curious once we do end up getting to the next world, how long do we have to grind strength for to beat the final boss? But we should know pretty quickly because it seems like we're rapidly approaching the 100 SX wins mark. All right, we have easily reached the 100 SX wins mark, which means we can walk through this portal and see what world six is looking like. Wow, so cool. I mean, honestly, it is pretty cool. I, uh, I haven't been to this world many times since they refresh it, but I'm very, very familiar with what happens here in world six in terms of grinding. So it looks like to move on to world seven to escape the void. We need 50. The SP wins, and we have to beat the cybernetic boss, which you need 1.1 SX total strength in order to do so. So we're gonna go put on our strength team again, and I believe that the hand grippers are they the best? I think they're the best in this area, and we've already gone ahead and locked uh, unlocked one of the best ones. And there's the 900 kilogram one, or the 900 is that 900,000? 925,000 kilogram, where we're getting 1.2 QI every time we curl this. Now this is something where we haven't even worried about trails up to this point because we haven't really needed the strength, but we do desperately need the strength now. And so these are the player upgrades. You can spend wins and get a strength boost and a speed boost, depending on the trailer you're able to purchase. We have around 117 SX wins, which means we could purchase the 55 SX Emerald trails. So our strength, holy crap. We just absolutely, was that a triple? We just tripled our strength right there. Also something we haven't really been able to grind too much is arms. We're still stuck with a 500% arm. Actually, does the Easter event have any arms worth grinding for? Oh, I got to back out of the game because these events, if you're able to time them right and grind them properly wait we don't have anything oh there we go i know one of these arms is crazy so the easter birdie 25 million 50 1,500% for the carrot. Whoa. Okay, so that actually might be worth it considering the best free-to-play arm we can get is probably only somewhere in the ballpark of like a 1,000% if we even forget a golden. So that's good to know. If we need to, we can grind up some strength here. Probably just go back to the punching bag. 24 isn't great. So I'd probably have to join like a friends boost server because that would take a long while to even be able to get enough strength to beat the pink marauder. And then we have to beat him for like an hour or something. So that is, that is an option. But I think for now, we should be chilling because we already have enough strength in order to beat the final boss in world six so put on a winner winner team go up to cybernetic we have 2.1 sx strength and then the question is how many wins we get from beating this guy because i don't even know four sp wait we have to beat this guy like what is that 12 times oh my gosh dude they've made it so easy to progress it's it's going to get hard trust me i think world seven and world eight are going to be a lot harder than what you guys have seen me struggle through over the last few worlds so these pets are still incredibly op and still giving me an insane boost but that is quickly going to wear off as we get closer and closer to world nine and this should be the final win in order to secure our ticket to world seven thank you cybernetic boss you were super easy to defeat so let's move on to world seven these or escaping to the space center here we go so this is going to be equally as tricky because we need 1.4 sp total strength which means we have to basically multiply our strength by a thousand and then we will be able to beat this world seven boss but i am pretty curious let's go ahead and pick up oh we can't even pick up this big old barbell so that is how that will be the best way to get strength in this world i'm pretty sure is through this big barbell but we're actually we're gaining strength kind of slow which is something i was wondering where the uh the big issue was going to occur and it seems like it might be here oh Oh boy, we haven't even, have we rebirth? We haven't. So this is where those other uh, rebirths can come into handy. Because as you can see, we're getting 573 QA per curl. But as we rebirth, we are now getting 619 per curl. And we can keep on rebirthing a little bit more. And we are getting a whopping 753 QA per curl. So we basically just doubled the amount of strength we were getting from those rebirths. Again, we still can double or triple our total strength with these arms and with our upgrades. Uh, we only have three SP, so we probably can't get a much better. Yeah, we can only get like a small 15 percent strength boost off of that but whenever we get up to 48.6 qi we can do a little bit of math see how much strength we're getting and then i'm probably going to need to join a friends boost server because that will basically double my strength again but as you're seeing strength is uh is a little uh, a little bit harder to come by i mean we are getting one qi for every time we use the hand gripper but i think this big barbell is still the ultimate method for gaining strength so let's see can we pick it up how much are we getting we are getting 4.5 qi every time we curl this barbell our strength is 
basically going up by 0.1 SX every single time, which is pretty good. And then we need 150 octillion wins to escape. So we only have three SP. That's a long way to go. But how much strength do I need to beat? We only need, oh, one SX, 2.9 SX, 161 SX. So what are the odds of getting the crates here in this world? World seven, you have a 1% chance to get a diamond crate. However, diamond crates have much better arms. Like the worst arm is a 560% boost. We might actually be able to open a ton of these gold crates and then we could potentially be able to turn some into a golden arm to give us that temporary boost we need. So all of them have opened. We got one buff venom and a few buff overgrown. So time to head back to the space gym and see if we can't multiply these arms together to get something really juicy going on. All right, so we can try one buff venom. Oh, you <laughs> let do my arm luck has been so good recently. So that is the best possible arm from the golden chest, 750% but still that's only half as good as that carrot arm but ah that's just it's just so much time spent grinding that world that i kind of want to dedicate towards this oh i've also forgot there's another there's a ton of codes in the game that give you strength boost but once you use them you can no longer use them again so the codes basically end up doubling your strength so i'm probably going to save that for world eight because that'll be the biggest hurdle the biggest obstacle because we're honestly getting not not too bad of a strength gain right now but again 1.4 sp we have to basically multiply our strength by a hundred now to be able to beat this boss so we're gonna go ahead and join a friends boost server or basically a server filled with all of my alt accounts to give me a friends boost and then we're gonna get training this should probably only take about an hour or two and then we could be all the way on to world eight which is crazy and so i'll see you guys in a second well 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 i think like two hours later we can finally put on the winner winner team by dr propulsion is he i think it's 150 octillion wins how many times does that mean we have to beat this guy holy crap are we gonna lose oh let's go if we put on the auto clicker we're slowly beating him slow but steady wins the race holy we even have like 20 percent more strength than him and it, it's such a grind jeez oh here it comes 10 octillion so we only have to do this 10 more times right I think I'm gonna see if I can purchase another trail with this though to make it a little bit easier. Oh, that's a pretty big boost. We go to, wait, that's it, 1.8. Sweet, that was like nothing. I mean, it's gonna help out a little bit. But yeah, I gotta beat this guy 10 more times and then we'll be on to the second to last world, world number eight. And I think that's where things are gonna get really, really tough. Here we go, let's see. Bada bang, bada boom. We're gonna go ahead and take the L on this one. Don't need any more wins. But here, oh my gosh, this feels so good. This has taken, I think about two days days so far of like on and off grinding but we've made it to world number eight the roman empire and we have to get 7.5 d wins in order to escape this now that the, the easiest way to do that is of course by beating the divine trainer with a whopping 1.1 octillion total recommended strength so we only have 1.8 sp strength which means we have to grind 500 times more strength than we currently have and in this world the biggest barbell is again the best so we are going to put on our strength team and we're getting about 4.5 qi per curl we have to get a holy crap we have to get to 73 sx strength that is insane what if i go back to the space center so that was 4.5 qi per curl if we go back here oh that's a little too far back if we go back to the space center and grab that really big barbell you're able, you're able to teleport and keep the item you have so we're getting 18.5 qi and then in this world we will have a bit of a bigger boost so 19.2 qi so i want to see how long does it take to get 100 qi with this so that's 40 so about seven seconds we could do five curls but with this we'll need to do about 20 curls in seven seconds so we'll see if that's possible wow not even close we only managed to get around half the strength in the same time and i think it's because if you look at the top here even though i'm curling the barbells some of these curls don't actually register but with the bigger barbells it's more consistent over time you're, you're able to get usually like a little bit more strength on average so this is going to be an absolute grind and before we start doing the full-on grind just want to see if there's any other ways we can boost our strength obviously oh we did get a diamond crate key very nice we we will use one of those and what do we get 600 arm not as good as what we have currently so arms trails which we have not really enough strength to do anything here they do get pretty good or actually not even really good this is a pretty small boost all things said done we could super rebirth again but i would definitely want to unlock the biggest barbell first i mean we're, we'd only get a maybe like tiny 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 boost so that's probably not worth it again we do have those codes so we really only need to only need to get like six 
600 SP strength. And then we can type in those codes. But we can also try to unlock some more head equips for free. Now they have access to eight different worlds. We should be able to squeeze that by. So as you can see, find 50 more pets for plus one pet equip. So we are going to equip our luck team and go hunting for some of these pet equips you don't have. Once we get 50 more pets found throughout the game, we should be able to have seven pet equips, which will definitely, definitely help us. Many hours later. Whoa, this was the 100th pet we've collected, the Abyssling, which is kind of crazy because we still have all world six, world seven, and world eight pets. So there's a small chance we could squeeze out another pet equip if we really needed to. But the funny thing is, I'm all out of uh, winner, winner pets. Oh, I meant best friend. Sorry, sorry, sorry. We have six pets, but we need to actually get our main account to transfer over another best friend eight. So let me go do that real quick. All right, we have secured another best friend eight pet. And so now let's see, without any sort of extra boost, in the Roman Empire, we are getting 10.6 QI. So that should be around 25 QI once we get the full 120% or 150% strength boost for being in the server for about three hours. So all that's really left to do is train up strength for trails. We have one of the best trails we can have for the game. Rebirths, we're pretty much maxed out and just rebirthing any anymore would just be such a small minuscule gain that it's really not worth it. And then same, but the one area we can definitely improve proven is the arms and i i don't know if it's worth sitting down and grinding up a bunch of diamond crates when the best i can get is about around a thousand percent arms so i think we're actually going to be taking ourselves over to the easter event where this barbell unfortunately doesn't work but if we do auto train we're getting 53 per punch and we only need around what is it 115,000 to beat the pink marauder and then i think that person gives us 125 candy coins or easter coins so it's not a ton we'd still have to beat the boss around a thousand times in order to purchase that arm and i think over here there is another arm but it's like super 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 expensive and that wouldn't really do us any good so we're gonna train up to around 115,000 strength beat the pink marauder probably about a thousand times so that way we can purchase the 1500 carrot arm and we do have some free spins so i guess let's just go ahead and spin all of these at once and see what the heck we get Oh, some wins. A hundred wins. That's it. All right, let's just spin them all at the same time we get a win. We do get a win potion of Flame Beast, and that's about it. That was terrible. Well, it only took a really, really long time, but we finally have all the Easter coins we need, and that's mainly because I realized just fighting this candy bunny was going to take, holy crap, like way more hours than I anticipated. So we went ahead and just auto-trained up to a million strength, but that didn't take too long. It was actually fighting the bosses enough times to get enough coins coins but we're finally rich enough oh my three thousand percent that's insane all right well all we can afford right now is the 1500 percent arm the carrot arm which is still going to be a big help if we go to the roman empire we can go ahead and uh quickly test and quickly see go to arms put the carrot. well let's see we have 1.9 sp strength so we should just have 3.8 whenever we curl this barbell oh 3.6 it's not as much holy crap that carrot arm is huge uh but that's really good and honestly if i want to grind a little bit more i could probably purchase like two of these i could purchase another one right now and just combine them up but i've done a lot of thinking and i think that's about all the progress we are able to make pretty much all the rest of our strength is just gonna have to come from us sitting here and grinding out these barbells and just doing like a big afk session overnight but also we do have the ability to type in those codes remember so that basically doubles the amount of strength we have so we'll probably need to get to around 600 sp strength then we type in those codes and then we will be able to beat this boss and move on within the game so just gonna be doing a really long afk session might be 12 hours might be 24 might be 36 hours and because of that we're gonna be typing in the most op code in all of the game and that is the code 1 million it gives us 10 percent stat boost and a 48 hour 3x boost for strength and for wins which is a huge huge help so we have 48 hours of triple strength boost training we're also going to rejoin our friends boost server and so we should be getting a ton of strength and then let's see does this barbell do anything 7.9 geez that's actually that's actually pretty solid so yeah just a long afk session ahead of us and then hopefully we'll be on our way to world nine and getting this challenge out of the way well gamers we have some bad news it has been 48 hours since we started afking strength here in the roman empire and as you can see our strength is at 357.2 sp quite the 
far cry from being able to defeat the 1.1 octillion strength of mind trainer that would let us escape this and go to the underworld but thankfully i still have two tricks up my sleeve that should be able to help us out with this issue and let's go deal with the first one now we're going to go back to the easter event and this is because there was a new update today that actually made getting candy a whole lot easier but that's not even really that made getting coins a little bit easier and so as you remember there is a 3000 percent base arm that is sold for 1 million coins here in this twisted merchant and that's perfect because our arm is 1500 percent so by putting on that arm we should get around to 600 ish sp strength and so in order to do that we need 1 million easter coins and i mean this is what this is what gives us like 624 five i think yeah 625 is okay but getting 1500 from bubblegum brew would be even better and so we're back here in our 120 percent friends boo server to do a little afk test i don't think we're going to be able to get too much strength within an hour so i actually might end up just afking bitter betty all night long but regardless i still need some more strength so that'll be very helpful and so we'll see how strong we can get in the easter event well it's been about an hour and unfortunately we've only able we've only managed to get around a million strength so i think we're just gonna do an overnight afk session with a bitter betty but if i'm not mistaken for a million coins we only need to beat her about 15 1600 times which sounds like a lot but over the course of like eight or nine hours of afk should definitely be able to get that done so we're gonna go ahead to sleep wake up get the arm and do the final trick to hopefully get enough strength to complete the challenge well it has been a full night and as you can see we have two million easter coins which is more than enough for us to to secure our arm the only problem is it's not currently in stock so we do have to wait till it comes around but that is the perfect time for us to implement the, the last final ditch effort to get more strength and that is going to be using all of the codes in game that give us a stat boost so as you can see plus five percent of all of our strengths so we should probably actually go to the main game where our strengths matter for this so as you can see we have 375 sp right now then we type in this code we get another plus five percent so we're up to 393 sp strength so that's the reason why i wanted to save these to the very end then we're we got Wednesday for 5%. Thanks for 400 mil for another 5%. So up to 432 SP. We're slowly, slowly getting there. Now, this is a pretty big one. Plus 10% of all of our stats. 477 SP strength. Okay, if this code is still in, ooh, plus 15%. That's huge. As you can see, we've already got like 200 SP strength within just a minute, which is which is crazy. You can find all these codes. If you just Google arm wrestling simulator codes or a YouTube video, you can definitely find them pretty easily. Another plus. 15% 631 SP so the good thing is these like stack over time or they compound they don't stack but they compound uh so we have to 663 SP 600 million visits let's go that might have been the last one we're just gonna keep typing in all the codes come on oh no now I think that's where we're going to end off around 696 SP because all of the recent codes have just been those like 3x stat boosts which do help but it would take me probably another like eight or ten hours of grind just to get another 100 sp strength so we are pretty pretty close to being the divine trainer but as you can see we're not quite there yet so we will need that arm to secure things and all we can do is wait and hope that the next time this refreshes it'll be our magical i think it's the sour arm well 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 would you look at that the candy crusher is finally purchasable oh that is so nice now we did accidentally unlock this area over here so we could buy two or we would have been able to buy two but I accidentally messed up and just kind of unlocked it by, by habit. But I'm really hoping when we put on the Candy Crusher arm, we'll have enough strength to beat the Divine Trainer. So three, two, one. Wait, oh, it didn't. <laughs> hey, <laughs> that was so anticlimactic. Come on. All right, now we can put on our winner. Winner team, we can make sure we have, we have a ton of wins potions, actually. So let's see, how many wins do we get from beating this guy? And I hope it actually lets us beat him. Oh no, dude. Okay, we had to oh, turn on the auto clicker. That's the only way we're going to be able to beat this guy, which is just kind of cheesy. It says get 1.1 octillion strength and you can beat him. But we have that. We have more than that. And we still can't even beat him without abusing an auto clicker program on our PC, which is is kind of stupid in my opinion let's see how many wins are we going to be able to get 5.7 in not bad that means in order to get 7.5 d wins we have to beat this boss around a thousand times which means we've got quite a lot of AF gang ahead of us i do want to see though for upgrades we can get a uh, just a bit of a boost but any boost at this point in the game is helpful wait that didn't even holy crap that new trail literally didn't help us at all wow so yeah oh wait we do have 1.4 oc now so a little 
little boost. But yeah, we're basically gonna have to sit here with an auto clicker for the next pff, uh, few hours, probably, because getting a thousand wins at this pace. Let me time it real quick. Wow, it takes about 17 seconds to get a win. We're about five hours of AFKing with this. Oh, wait, I'm an idiot. We can just apply one of the 3x codes that are all over the place now, the stat boost codes. And now it should only take us around an hour and a half of fighting this boss to move on to the final world. We can actually beat the boss. There we go, 17 in wins. So yeah, we need 7.5 D and then we will have gone from noob to pro. Well, 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 after five days of grinding, five real life days and probably around 20, 24 hours of work put into this. We have done it. We have the strength. We have the wins. And most importantly, we managed to not delete this pet from my inventory because I have to give it back when this challenge is over. And I definitely didn't want to be out a whopping 150. 50,000 Robux if we manage to delete it. But oh my gosh, after this is like the longest any of these challenges have ever took. So if you guys watch all the way to the end, I really appreciate it. If you wouldn't mind dropping a like and subscribing for all the effort we put into this, then it would mean a lot. And oh, baby, that's good to see. I mean, okay, I'm not gonna lie. I've already been here on like my main account and on my alt accounts, but on this account, it did. It's, it's different, man. So much time, so much effort went into this and I'm happy we were able to do this. Now, the chances are when we're world 10 releases we're going to be doing the exact same challenge again so again make sure you guys are subscribed to see that because you definitely don't want to miss it and that's what it's like to go from noob to pro with the best pet in arm wrestling simulator and i'll catch you guys in the next one